All right, guys, welcome to Draconic Evolution in 10 minutes. Here we make a series where we teach you all the necessities about a mod within 10 minutes so you can get back to whatever you were doing before, whatever you needed it. So today, guys, we're going to go ahead and get right into it today. My cape is gone, so I'm a bit sad. But we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to tell you um, what you're going to need. You're going to need to find some of this in the world. This is Draconium Ore. And what you do is when you break it, it will give you this Draconium Dust. And you'll go ahead here, and you'll get one of these Draconic Evolution Information Tablets. Uh, and this will let you know basically the Draconic Evolution mod. It'll walk you through step by step. But we're going to go ahead and do that a little bit faster than you having to read through. So there are going to be three different types of ways that the essence, uh, the Draconium dust will show up in the world. It will be either through stone, through netherrack, or through the end. Um, typically this one is the easiest to spot the end because it is... Um, everywhere compared to uh, the nether and the overworld uh, and you can just break that with a diamond pickaxe and you will get the dust here like so and next up you're going to want to go ahead and smelt it in here i'll go ahead and throw this draconium dust in there and we will get these bad boys smelted up all right so now that you've got that all smelted up here like the draconium ingots we're going to want to go over to a crafting table we're going to want to make up some draconic cores now we're only going to make a few of these. Uh, we're going to need some more draconium, unfortunately. I shift clicked when I shouldn't have. All right, let's grab it. We got to be look at this split quick. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and make these draconic, or we're going to make the wyvern cores. These, these are how we make the tools. So we actually need one more of those. Give me one sec. All right, guys, my recommendation is to make a crazy amount of these draconic cores because you're going to need a bunch for these next few steps. So what we're going to want to have to go and do is make a wyvern energy core. And to make that, you just need redstone, draconium ingots, and the draconic cores. We'll go ahead and make all the ones we actually can, and we'll put those here. And then the next step is to make the tools. So in order to make the pickaxe, you need two draconium ingots, the diamond pickaxe, a wyvern core, and a wyvern energy core. And that is how you make the tier one pickaxe for tinker, or not tinkers, <laughs> for draconic evolution. All right, and the same goes for the armor as well. You'll need the diamond version of each piece of armor. We'll need to find the helmet, right? It takes six draconium ingots this time and then the same amount of the two other materials. And we just go through like this and we go ahead and craft them up. Very simple to make all of them. All right, and for the next step, after we have all of the armor crafted up, just like we do over here, we're gonna go ahead and make up the fusion crafting basics. Now, you're going to need iron blocks, you're going to need some stone, you're going to need a draconic core, and two diamonds to make these. And you're going to need a total of eight. All right. And then for the next step, we're going to need, where is it we're going to need? For the next step, you're going to need to grab a fusion crafting core, which is lapis, draconic core, and diamonds. I'm going to need to grab those lapis, lapis blocks right here. All right, and we've gone ahead and made our own. So let's go on back here, and this will be the center here. We're gonna come out one, two, three, four blocks. That way we're safe. Two, three, four. If you're wondering why I said we are safe, that is because it is not so that we're safe as a character, but that, because I believe there is a block, like you have to be a minimum of this distance. So let's go ahead and build this, and then you're going to want to place these on the front here, like so, oops, like so. And when you do get up into the higher tier crafting, you might want to have one in the middle just like that. But this should actually work. Now the next step is to get power into the back of each of these. And you can either use the Draconic Evolution ones, which I'm going to show you now. All right, guys, so in order to make these crystal-looking things, we're going to go ahead and need to uh, get our wyvern, wyvern energy cores, surround them with diamonds on all four sides, and you get these basic energy relay crystals. Now, I'm going to show you how these things work. So if you go like this, if this is normal inventory, you can go ahead and double them, and now they will link to each other. You're also going to need to get this crystal binder, which, where did it go? Boo, 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 boo. Is right here and you just need a diamond two draconium ingots a blaze rod and a draconic core so it's very simple to make and what you do is you go ahead and place it on the side of a power source now this is our, our this is draconic evolutions uh, creative rf it, it's just basically a power source for the mod uh, you go ahead and put it on the sides here like so 
And then you shift click here and you click here and here. And these will only hold up to two connections. As you can see, if you look in the bottom right over here, you can see links to. Uh, so you shift click and then you select the two you want it to go to. And now they are transferring power. So this thing is actually getting all the power we need right now, which is very awesome. All right, guys, so the next step we're going to do is go ahead and upgrade our pickaxe of the wyvern. And to do this, we're going to need to go ahead and make a upgrade key, which to say this just upgrades the... Uh, the uh, RF capacity, so the amount of storage it has, and you're going to need two golden apples, so one golden apple over here, one golden apple over here, you're going to need two diamonds, one over here, one over here, and then we have our our upgrade here, you're going to need a draconic core on the other side, and if we put this in here, why didn't that work? Oh, do we need eyes of ender? Did I forget those? I did. All right, and you're gonna need two eyes of ender, like so and like so. So as you can see, we've maxed out all four of them. And if we click here, look at that, we can go ahead and start crafting it. So it's gonna zap it quite a bit. All right. Why are you taking so long to charge? Just going on here. Oh no, I broke it. Sorry. All right, so there's another thing I did end up forgetting was to set those to the output mode, which was a derp move by me. But as you can see here, we're almost all charged up. And check this out. This is one of the coolest things ever. All right, now it may look the same, but as you can see, instead of holding 4 million RF, it now holds 16 million RF. And that is just the basic tier. So if we go here to Draconic Evolution, let's go ahead, I'll show you all of the tiers. So here's basic. Here's Wyvern, it requires two Nether Stars, two Draconic Cores, two Emeralds, and now a Wyvern Core, along with our another, our, the same upgrade kit, because it doesn't uh, destroy it when you do the upgrade, so you only need to ever make one. And then the tier three, which is draconic, um, you need two nether stars, two wyvern cores, two blocks of emerald, and a awakened core, which we will get into part two of this. And that will, that, I don't know, that gives you what? I think you can only do that to the draconic armor. And then there's chaotic tier. And you need two wyvern cores, two awakened cores, two dragon eggs, and a chaotic core, which is made with a chaos shard, which we'll get into next episode in a bunch of awakened draconium. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the episode, please do make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and this has been Draconic Evolution in 10 minutes or less, part one. See ya.